perfect love I swear it was Until I had your love My world was cold I did what most men do And I messed it up But when I got you back My world was whole Don't play a thing, I let it go yeah. Lord, our life was set in stone Don't think that I can handle this Baby, I'm so I'm so mad at me Look at the state Hey, and I'm here just hanging out at Asylum Records. Let me show you around. I come from a musical background. My father is a quite a well-known reggae singer, John McLean. My dad offers me advice all the time. He's always got some pearl of wisdom <laughs> to share with me from the music industry, definitely, definitely. When I first started music, I must have been about seven years old. I mean, I was singing before that, just like copying my dad, singing my dad's songs and other artists that I was listening to. My style, I would describe as new soul. Right now, I am uh, promoting my debut single, which is Broken, working on my album. It's just sounding great. I'm really happy and proud of it. The video for the single is fantastic. My advice to any upcoming artist would just be brand yourself, make your t-shirts or flyers or your CDs and give them out at shows. Just keep the pressure on. Let everyone know that you're out there. My three biggest achievements, firstly writing Broken, getting signed and getting played on Radio 1. Uh, the biggest hardship getting into music is probably initially getting people to listen to you or take you seriously. It's hard to get radio plays if nobody knows who you are. A lot of demo tapes just get dashed in the bin early. When I'm not doing music, I'll probably be chilling with my daughter playing or playing my Xbox. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marilyn and I'm one of GB's top 800 metre runners. Well, McLean, I've seen you working out on this baby. Uh, yeah. So how did you first get into running? I was 12 years old when I started running, just through school. Joined the local running club, then I joined um, my club that I run for now, which is based in North West London, Shaftesbury Barnet Harriers, and just through that and went sort of progressed each year. Before a gig, I usually don't really have a routine as such but I would like go wander off somewhere and sit down or walk up and down, say a prayer, just bless my show and, and then go out. Is there anything like that you do before a big race to prepare? Well, it's quite um, specific physically. We've got our warm up, yeah. so I'll have quite a rigid routine that I stick to. Um, and I'll probably do that about an hour before I get called onto the track. Uh, but then on a personal level, you know, there's a bit of music I like to listen to on my iPod, I always set up my playlist. Um, I do pray as well, that's usually when I'm right on the track. Obviously 2012 is approaching, mm -hmm. so what are your aspirations? I mean, I've got big aspirations, but at the same time I like to think of them as realistic. I've been a plan now working towards, so I'm just really hoping to, to, to be a champion at, at the 2012 Games. It's, you know, my backyard, so it'll be an amazing opportunity. That's what I'm really working towards every day. But what about you, next couple of years, what do you see that? You know, I'm, I'm working on my album, so I'm hoping that it's successful and I get to make another one. Mm -hmm. And um, just I just want to have a successful career, really, and just keep doing what I love doing. Exactly. Yeah, That's definitely. What it's about. That is what it's about. Cool. Track suits are looking fly, so <laughs> you're going to keep rocking it. 
definitely. I love my stripes. Um, it's a really nice one as well. Um, I live in tracksuits, so yeah. you could see me in this. Going down to the shops, at the track, lounging around in my hotel before a race. Yeah. Any time you're looking for a bit of coaching? Yeah, man, I'm a holiday. Just <laughs> don't push me too hard, I'm just a beginner. <laughs> We'll start slow and work our way up. Make sure you go cop my new single, Broken. Coming soon. Peace. <laughs>